you import the JPEG file you want to use to crop. In my case, I'm using Obama's portrait. Zoom in. On the toolbar, I use Bezier tool, but you can use Lazio, you can use Pen or anything. Retrace it gently and begin as much as possible. You can go to the edit tool and shape the places that you think you didn't shape right. Now select the whole image you go to the object go to the shaping and intersect this will crop it right from the main image and you can delete the previous original image Now on this cropped image, some people like to have a wallpaper or a background to it. Or you could choose to leave it white with a white background the way it is. In my case, I want to put some wallpaper behind, a wooden one for this case. So you can go to the image and click copy and paste. The copied image 
you go to trace bitmap quick trace it select the traced image and turn it into black right and this image convert it to bitmap choose the highest resolution in this case i'm using a 300 dpi and on the bitmap go to effects and blur it I choose the Gaussian blur and you can go for a higher pixel. Let's take a 21 pixels and then the blurred image, put it right behind the original image. You go to order, back of the page. You can see the result. Okay, so you can import your wallpaper, your background image. In my case, I'm using the wooden background wall. You group the blood image and the original one, and then you come to order to front of the page. Here we come. Center it well to fit your working area. You can even take the same image, yeah? you click copy. Let's choose a different background, see how it comes out. I'll be using an American flag. image is too big I'm literally trying to resize it so that it can fit okay let's use that as our background then you simply click paste and there comes And you can you can always play around with this yeah sometimes if if it's for campaign or you want to make a keychain you can always still take that circle use object go to shaping intersect here comes our picture And there comes the end of our tutorial for today. And remember to click subscribe for more of my tutorials. Thank you.